Uh, welcome, uh, my name is uh, Rear Admiral Anderson and I'm the commander of Carrier Strike Group 3. And I'd like to personally welcome each and every one of you to the USS Abraham Lincoln, the flagship of this Carrier Strike Group. We're extraordinarily grateful for our friends and family and all the organizations who supported us during this seven plus month deployment. We are thrilled to be home. The sailors and Marines of the Abraham Lincoln, Carrier Air Wing 9, Destroyer Squadron 21, Mobile Bay, Spruance, Samson, Gridley, Fitzgerald, and Momsen worked extraordinarily hard successfully carrying out a wide variety of missions around the Indo-Pacific and the Middle East in order to uphold Maritime's peace and stability. While deployed, we operated the most capable and consequential force on the planet to protect our interests, enhance our security, and safeguard our values and those of our allies and partners. We provided combat credible capability and capacity across a myriad of missions, demonstrating that we will professionally fly, sail, and operate wherever international law allows. We conducted numerous combined exercises in the region to reassure our allies and partners, 
of our commitment to a free and open Indo-Pacific. And to counter malign influence from our adversaries, and each sailor and marine in this strike group made, made significant contributions to that mission. Thank you for attending. I will now turn it over to Captain Amy Bowen Schmidt, the commanding officer of Abraham Lincoln. Sorry, it's all the new dads. It gets you every time. Meeting their kids for the first time. All right, good morning, San Diego. I cannot tell you how proud I am of this crew and all they accomplished over the last seven months since we deployed on January 3rd. We have traveled over 2,500 nautical miles, safely conducted 26,900 flight operations, 41 replenishments at sea, and our aircraft intermediate maintenance department repaired, tested, and issued over 21 F-18 engines. We conducted dual carrier operations with USS Carl Vinson in the Philippine Sea and in the South China Sea. We worked alongside South Korea and Japanese partners and executed a series of different exercises, including Noble Fusion, Jungle Warfare, Valiant Shield, and Noble Partner. We spent five of our seven months in the 7th Fleet operating area, showing countries in the region we support them and their international rights. The 5,000 sailors and Marines that comprise Lincoln Nation directly contributed to the preservation of the freedom of navigation and the free flow of commerce in the region. We just completed RIMPAC 2022, a very unique training opportunity with 26 different nations, 38 surface ships, four submarines, nine land forces, more than 30 unmanned systems, 170 aircraft, and 25,000 personnel. What we did matters, and our hard work made the difference in the 7th Fleet Operating Area. This crew has a lot to be proud of. And with that, Carrier Air Wing 9K, Captain Callaway, myself, and the Admiral are open for questions. Yeah, this is the best part. So we had 700 family members with us from the ride from Hawaii to here. These crew members worked so exceptionally hard. They did things, they fixed pieces of equipment, repaired things, kept aircraft flying in order to conduct the mission. Had about 20 new crew members join the team while we were gone. And so this crew uh, has earned this homecoming and they did an absolutely phenomenal job. Yeah, um, I'm exceptionally proud of them. Uh, there's no more humbling experience than to be in charge of professionals like this and to watch them come home and, and see them with their families again. So yeah, I'm exceptionally happy to be home uh, and it's great to see uh, all the successes this crew had. Uh, you know, we have quite a few Everything in the training pipeline does help, uh, but nothing is quite the same as being here and actually doing it. So uh, I am lucky that I have an incredible support crew. I have an incredible executive officer, CMC, 20 incredibly capable department heads. Uh, so yes, there is, there is a lot of schooling that gets you most of the way there, but nothing is quite the same as being here and doing it. So first and foremost, as, as you highlighted, RIMPAC uh, highlighted we had about four different unmanned uh, surface vehicles that uh, operated throughout uh, uh, throughout RIMPAC, and we actually had one as part of our uh, our combined task force. Uh, and it was uh, the experimentation went exceedingly well, uh, and it was not only uh, the participants not only included United States uh, vessels and United States uh, ships, but also those of our allies and partners. And so it was uh, exceedingly successful. And I would say that uh, I'm, I'm really excited for the future in terms of what both manned and unmanned teaming can, can offer the, uh, the maritime force as well as the joint force. That's about a 